So this is my treatment on my film. Uh, the basic genre is going to be a horror, but from my audience research I found that quite a lot of people don't like to stick to just the one main genre, so they might like a little elements of action and comedy, so I was thinking about a little bit of comedy. And the main focus of the idea is that there's going to be a stalker and he's going to be going around killing groups of girls and um, these groups of girls will all have something in common, they'll all know each other, so the film will all link up together in the end, but there'll be little hints throughout the film, so at first it sort of takes the audience time to guess who it is and what's happening. Um, and then I just thought the ending of the film would be a cliffhanger and it would go on to a sequel. So what happens in my opening is there's a couple arguing in a restaurant and we don't see, we don't hear their argument at first because we can see their argument through a window, through watching them in the restaurant and we see, the audience sees that it's actually a person watching them through the camera because the camera's a bit swayy, it's not completely still on a tripod um, and it moves out of the way when the girl comes out of the restaurant also showing that it's a person and then she walks home and texts her friend and this, it's not continuous, it's a montage of different sequences because I don't want it to be too long and I don't want it to drag out for the audience for it to be boring, I want it to just snap onto each new uh, scene. So there'll be two girls in the house and it will be showing different events happening during the night um, and it will keep going back to the same outside view of a person watching them and I'll be having um, sort of just normal pop music um, that girls would listen to and then whenever it goes back to the stalker, the music slightly change to a lower pitch, um, more creepy feel, which will show the audience that it's a person watching. Um, and I had this idea of them ordering pizza, and the pizza guy gets killed, and it's actually the stalker who gives it to them. And he manages to get into the house, and he kills one of the girls in the bathroom, and the other girl runs to the bathroom, and she sees a figure in the mirror for a second and this then cuts into the title, which I haven't come up with yet. Um, so my target audience, um, for now, I've only really based it around male because I thought um, it's more of a male audience to watch horrors. Um, but girls also are interested, but I find not as much. So I was thinking 15 to 60 year olds, because I don't want it to be too young, because there'll be scenes of violence and gore. I'm not too old, because it might scare older people. Um, so it'll be scary tone, um, suspense atmosphere, and the star is obviously a mysterious killer of horror. Um, my locations, um, so it's start in a restaurant or a coffee place, and then it'll change to a street or a path through the woods, which will start to build up the atmosphere already of her going through dark woods and her feeling that she's alone and there could be killings around her. And then it will then cut straight to the house, showing outside of the house and um, certain scenes inside the house. Um, my influences, I the start of Scream, um, I've looked on and it's, it's again about a killer who goes around killing people um, and Valentine as well, it's sort of similar, he goes around um, killing girls. Um, I focus a lot on the ring as well because the opening, it it's holds a lot more suspense, there's little dialogue in it and it's just focusing on the build up of the, the kill at the start. Um, and also Halloween I found interesting because um, at the start you see the points of view again, um, like my idea outside the window looking through and it's the camera so you know it's the person who's watching. And then I would use my camera and tripod, um, the phone, uh, box of tissues, piece of box and fake blood. Um, any questions? 
Um, do you think that, even though you're aiming at a male audience, if our main characters are probably female, that will have an, uh, an impact on addressing the female side yeah, of the audience? I think with it being focused on a group of girls getting killed, um, it could bring in a wider audience of females as well. Um, like I've heard from the male audience that they quite like seeing girls um, being like the dancer in distress and um, things happening to them. Um, but yeah, I think it will also attract girls, um, but maybe not as much. Um, in it, you say that you, you two influences from the mask screen and films like that. Yeah. Will you actually see what the um, the murder looks like, the stalker it looks like, or um, will it just be a point of view? Yeah, not in the opening as such. You you won't see him. You'll only see um, maybe glimpses of dark shadow of him and just yeah the point of view of the camera. But then. Um, as I said, when the girl gets killed and she goes into the bathroom, she sees like a glimpse, but it's literally a second shot, and then the title will jump in, so you won't see his face as such. Okay.